Five, four, three, two, one. Let's give it up for Puppet the Psycho Dwarf. Hey, y'all. I'm Puppet the Psycho Dwarf, a.k.a. Stevie Lee. A lot of different characters I've done uh, in the wrestling world, the movie world, the television world, reality, stage, stand-up, comedy. A lot of different things from different avenues that you could have saw me on. We decided to put a show together called The Puppet Show. It's a variety. We wanted to bring back a lot of the comedy shows, a live show, a feel of it. Um, I got to play a lot of different characters in season one um, and had a great time. And with really no budgets, we did the best we can. We were pretty proud of that project. And now we're here we are looking to get bigger, better, and funnier even stuff. So it's so a total green screen show, The Puppet Show, having a good time. And they wanted to, you guys to have a little bit of history of me and where I came from. Um, the last movie I did was Oz the Great and the Powerful uh, with Sam Raimi, which was a great time. I got to play a lot of it in the fantasy world. I was lead munchkin one. So I got a lot of makeup. I mean, I think we sat in the, the chairs for probably four or five hours every single day before we filmed and it was quite an experience. Uh, another latest movie I did was Jackass 3D. You saw me punch out Wee Man in the midget barroom brawl. Yep, he tried to steal my girlfriend never again, little man. The Half Pint Brawlers, which is a live touring midget wrestling company. And Spike TV picked us up after they saw us on On Demand. And uh, that was that was a great time because they would just follow us everywhere on the road, see how we travel, what we did, filmed our shows, and uh, it's been quite a successful project for me. I also do a lot of different commercials. One of the commercials that I'm mostly proud of is I did a thing called the Groundhog Day, where I got to do a commercial with Troy Paul Mool. As you can see, I'm a huge Pittsburgh Steeler fan, so I got to hang out with him all day. And they used my little body and his big head with his hair. And the object of the commercial was basically when you pull them out, if you see the shadow, football season lasts longer. Um, where it was a week off for the Super Bowl or something like that. So that was a really good time. I can tell you a little bit about my latest stunt which, with Prison Productions. It was a big corporate party and they had a big cake and they wanted somebody to come through a ceiling and fall into the cake and break the table and go through the table. Well, they knew I had the wrestling experience that hired me and so it was probably about eight feet in the air. I was through and I fell through a ceiling onto the cake, through the table, scared the hell out of the crowd, had a good time with that, threw a little cake on them and uh, got paid for that. That was unbelievable. Another avenue that I got to get involved with was radio. I got on Man Cow's Morning Madhouse, which was a syndicated radio show throughout the United States. Um, I got to play a lot of pranks, stunts, you know, shock jocks kind of stuff. So here I am, Puppet the Psycho Dwarf. You got a little history about me in the radio, the movies, and now I want to come to your living room with the puppet show.